The Midnight Gang by David Williams and illustrated by Tony Ross. Chapter 49. Two Left Feet. Now that Tom was officially on the run, not only from the hospital but also his school, it was going to be very difficult for him to get back up to the children's ward from the basement. Forty-four floors and hundreds of patients and doctors and nurses separated the boy from his destination. If I am spotted, it's all over, he said. I know, replied the porter. We'll need to disguise you. Tom spied a rusty old hospital trolley in the corner of the porter's den. Could I pretend to be a very ill patient, he asked. You could cover me with a sheet and then push me back up to the children's ward. No one will know it's me. An excellent plan, young Mr Thomas, sir, said the porter. Tom was just about to dive on the trolley when the man said, But you are forgetting something, something big. What's that? Sir Quentin Strillers fired me on the spot for what, going forward, we shall call the flying old lady incident. So we are both going to need a disguise. Sorry, I forgot, replied the boy, downcast. Maybe it would work better if we reverse the roles? What do you mean? I mean, I can be the doctor and you can be the patient. We could cover you in a sheet? I have one right here, replied the porter. The man picked up a white sheet so old it had gone grey. He shook it out and clouds of dust filled the basement room. The blizzard of dust made the pair cough and splutter. And there's a picture of the porter shaking out the big sheet and all the dust flying everywhere. Sorry, said the porter, but Mr Thomas, sir, how is anyone going to believe that you are a grown-up? The boy was unusually short for his age. There must be something we can do. I just need to be taller. If only we had some stilts. I have the next best thing. The porter scrabbled around in a corner of his den. He discarded all sorts of items that must have been thrown out by the hospital. Rubber gloves, stethoscopes, sample jars, metal dishes, tongs, all flew past Tom until the porter finally found what he was looking for. A pair of prosthetic legs. They were made of plastic and meant for people who had lost a leg through an accident or illness. This pair of legs should work a treat, said the porter as he passed them to the boy. Except they weren't really a pair. Tom examined them. They are two left feet, said the boy. And there's a picture of the prosthetic legs. And they are two left feet. <laughs> Who's going to check, replied the porter confidently. You can borrow a pair of my trousers to cover up the legs. OK, let's try it, replied Tom. After a few moments, the pair checked the coast was clear and emerged from the porter's room in the basement of the hospital. The porter had lent Tom his cleanest pair of trousers, which were, of course, still covered in a thick layer of grime. He had also found two left shoes to slip the prosthetic feet into. The shoes weren't matching, of course. One was a black brogue and the other a white plimsoll. Tom had put on a long white coat and to complete the look, the porter had drawn a moustache on the boy with soot. Unsteady on his new legs, Tom wobbled out along the corridor, pushing the old rusty trolley. Underneath the dusty sheet on the trolley lay the porter, rather enjoying being pushed for a change. To the children's ward and quick, ordered the man. I'll go as fast as my legs can carry me, replied the, man, the boy. Deeper voice, please. What? If people are going to believe you are a grown-up, you are going to have to talk in a deeper voice. Tom tried again, this time in a much deeper voice. I'll go as fast as my legs can carry me. Too deep now, the boy tried again. I'll go as fast as my legs can carry me. Perfect, said the porter. Tom set off, immediately tripped over and sent the trolley careering into a wall. The porter banged his head on it, hard. Ow! Sorry, said Tom. At least though I have a real injury, said the porter. The pair chuckled and set off as quickly as they could for the lifts. And there's a picture of Tom with his extra prosthetic legs. End of chapter 49.